yarn friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm your host Kayla and I appreciate you stopping by today. I'm so excited to be back here with you and to make a video and to share with you guys and I hope you're all having a great day. So far my day has been pretty good. I haven't done anything. <laughs> so it has to be great, huh? <clears throat> so today's video is about movie and stitch. It's the hashtag movie and stitch and in the title that should be lit up blue and if you click on that it will take you to another page that shows everyone who has hashtagged movie and stitch that has joined in and doing these videos so you can check out other people's videos also. So um, for my A movie which was last week's video I chose my video and I watched the movie and then um, today I'm telling you about the movie <coughs> and I'll pick my B movie. So last um, video I chose The Astronaut Farmer and um, it's really a sweet movie. It's a 2006 movie, it's PG and it stars Billy Bob Thornton which you know can always go either way. <laughs> and so um, what I like about the movie is that it iterates never give up on your dreams but it also gives the message that you can't just have the dream you have to actually make that dream come true you know you have to work at it towards making it come true so um, it's a feel-good movie and I give it a thumbs up and so now for my project that I worked on during the movie, I had a little trouble deciding what I was going to work on. <clears throat> I had originally thought that I might would just do a project that I thought pertained to that movie, like a little um, amigurumi or a pillow or, you know, just some type of, um, just an item that, you know, could be made fairly quickly. That would pertain to a movie but then I thought you know there might be some movies that I can't come up with anything for <laughs> and so um, and I already have a lot of projects going on so I didn't want to bog myself down with another project that could get entailed or anything you know so anyway I was kind of looking around my yarn room trying to decide what to do and I was trying to actually kind of clean it up a little bit which I was unsuccessful doing. <laughs> but I came across um, something that I wanted to make and I was just like, I'm never going to get around to making that. And then I thought, yes, I will because I can make a square every time I do the movie and stitch. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll end up with 26 squares for this project. And so Anyway, so back last summer at Hobby Lobby, we, um, remember they had that good clearance sale in like June, July-ish, and so I went and picked up the Little Dollops, the Yarn Bee Little Dollops for 49 cents, and also the Sugar Wheel Cotton Minis for... 62 cents so I picked up a bunch of these and I'm just gonna tell you I made like two trips and got a load of these and so um, anyway so I really wanted to make kind of a scrappy granny square blanket with those and so that's what I'm gonna do and so the first one that I used actually um, is this it? Sunday, um, I think the title of the yarn, the, the colorway of the yarn is called Sunday Spoonful. So I used this one. It was one of the little 49 cent little dollops. And I made this square right here. I didn't weave in my tail. <laughs> I usually do. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, I do know what happened. The reason why I did not weave in my tail is because... I had previously made this square uh, when I first got those little dollops I had made this square and I put these I put some of these in this little bag that I carry around the house with me 
and um <clears throat> i guess let me check the weight the yardage on these okay so the sugar wheel cotton minis have 117 yards and the little dollops are 92 yards that's why okay so i had made this previously and had it in my bag along with some of these little dollops and um, sugar, mini sugar wheels. So I had went 12 rounds on this. And so I was thinking all my squares would be 12 rounds. And so I made this and it only went to 11 rounds with just a little bit left over. And so um, it wasn't going to go to 12, you know. And so I was sitting there contemplating... Um, what to do to add something to this to make it 12 rounds or what but then I, I had already made this and I had tied it off and weaved in the ends and everything but I decided to pull this one back to 11 rounds so I had to pick that out <laughs> and um, pull out a whole round and then I tied off but I didn't weave in the end yet because I just want to make sure that they're all going to turn out the same size and I think they are because those two are like they're they're the same size so anyway when I made this one I decided after I pulled this one back to 11 rounds and this is 11 rounds which 11 rounds is kind of an odd number to me I like doing things in even numbers <laughs> But um, I went ahead and didn't weave in my end because I just want to make sure they're all going to make 11 rounds before I weave in ends again. So I'll probably make another one or two before I weave in those ends. So anyway, that's what I'm going <coughs> to do. So my squares are going to be at least 26, if not 28, depending on my layout. I'll have to see how many squares I'm going to need for that. And I also have a... Um, a big I think it's a Karen cake of co white cotton and I have two of those and so that's what I'm gonna eventually go around these squares with and join them all with is some white in between them and so I think this is just be a kind of a girly looking blanket so it'll be mine um, and also these are really light so it'll kind of be a lightweight blanket and so and in our home <laughs> Um, even in the summertime, it gets kind of cool in here because we run the air. We, um, you know, keep it pretty cool in our house. And so in the summertime, sometimes you just need a light blanket to throw over you while you're sitting on the couch or whatever, you know. So that's what this is going to be. My lightweight summer blanket. You know, I mean, it could be used any time of the year. But anyway, that's what I'm going to work on every time I watch a movie one of the stitching the movie and stitches i'll be working on squares to go into a blanket for myself and so um and a lot of other people are working on blankets also making squares <coughs> of different types or whatever so i enjoyed the movie and i enjoyed making my square while i was watching the movie and so i went ahead and picked my b movie <coughs> Okay, so um, I kind of went to a list that um, lists movies in alphabetical order. And so I was scrolling down and there was lots of B movies that I really wanted to watch. And so I might end up watching them anyway. But um, you know how sometimes you've seen a movie and I have seen this movie before, but it's been years. But I remember that I really liked the movie, but I don't remember everything about the movie <laughs> because my memory is shot. I don't know if y'all know that. Surely I've caught on by now. <laughs> My memory is shot. Like, I can say something, and later that day or the next day, I do not even recall saying that. I mean, unless the kids are really messing with my mind, which could be a possibility. I really just cannot remember stuff. And so, it could be my kids messing with my mind a little bit, too. They like to do things like that. But, um, the movie I picked is The Blind Side. And it's a football movie, but um, I'm not into football at all. But the movie, it's a feel-good movie with a good message. 
behind the movie. I do remember that. So I just don't remember all the details about the movie. So that's what I'm going to watch for my next movie in Stitch. Uh, for B, I'm going to watch The Blind Side. So if you're following along, um, I know last time some of you let me know what your A movie was going to be. So down in the comments, let us know what your B movie would be. And I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Happy stitching!